help not just anybody help i need somebody won't you please please help me all right so in my mind that song was going really well let me know in the comments what you think like i think songs go really well but it's really fitting for what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about quick assist. And so what this does is if your parents or your grandparents, siblings, whoever needs help on their computer, you can use quick assist on a Windows machine to give you that ability to quickly help them. Now, just be careful because with any remote software, you don't want to give this code to somebody you don't know. While quick assist does have some measures in place that they might not be able to do like admin stuff on your computer, there's easy ways that they can work around that should somebody know what they're doing and get into your computer. So just don't give this to anybody like Joe Blow over there that nobody knows and they're calling up and saying, hey, I'm gonna help you on your computer because I think you have a virus. I got a call one time, no joke. And it was a Windows person, not real Windows because Windows will never call you to tell you have a virus. But they called me and said, you have a virus on your computer. I said, oh, really? How do you know? And they straight face, they were like, oh, I'm looking at these lights over here and they blink red when a virus happens on someone's computer. So your computer, it's just blinking red constantly. So let me remote, let me help you. And I'm like, oh, sorry, man. I just, I don't even know what to do. So I played around with them a little bit, made a little joke and then finally hung up because Windows will never call you if you have a virus on your computer. Remember that, that'll help you one day. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna hop over. We have two computers up here and I'm gonna show you how to remote into them. So on the first computer, it's gonna be the computer that we use to remote into the other computer. So if you're getting a call from your grandma saying, hey, Sonny, I need your help. That might be more like a grandpa. But if you're getting a call from them, I'm gonna show you how to use Quick Assist and how to remote into somebody's computer that you know to give them help should they need help with something. All right, as we jump in, I do wanna remind you guys we are consultants. So if you ever do feel like you have a virus on your computer or you just need help, you can reach out to us at support at nexttechconsultants.com and we can help you out. You can also find us on all social media platforms at nexttechnt. Also drop a comment below. I love to answer those when I have time. Um, they're fun for me. So feel free to drop a comment below. Even if it's your favorite food, favorite pizza, let me know. I like pineapple on my pizza. Do you? Just asking. Now that you're on your computer, what you can do is you click on start and you can open up quick assist. Once you're there, you're going to be the person on your first computer. You're going to be the person helping someone, not receiving a code. So what you'll do is you'll click help someone and it's going to ask you to sign in because they want to know who is the person helping someone else. So I'm going to sign in and we're going to come right back. All right. Now you can see here I have a code now that I'm signed in. I have a code here and it expires in 10 minutes. So we need to make sure that we help that person out within 10 minutes. All right, we're gonna hop over to the other computer. On the other computer, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the start menu and you're gonna open up Quick Assist as well. Once you have Quick Assist, you're gonna go in and you're gonna enter the code that is on the other computer. Now you, you can see that the code is MD3Y5K. And we're gonna go ahead and click Submit. It's gonna connect the two sessions. You can see they're working on connecting right now. On the one side, the computer that I'm helping is I wanna say allow, so they can actually remote in and help me. Now, the session has been established. You can see that screen sharing is on. This is the, on this computer, you can see because it has a background still, it's remoted in. So you can see on my main computer, the one that's helping out, you'll see that I have a few controls here. So I have request control, I have draw, so you can actually annotate. So you can say, if I want you to click the start menu, you circle it and you can see on the other screen as I'm circling that it's pulling it up. So, okay, now you click the start menu, go ahead and go to Microsoft Edge and open that. And you click the erase and it erases everything. So then we're gonna go back to draw and they're gonna do something or you can just draw wherever you need on the screen. The other option that you have is you can go ahead and exit annotation and you can go into request control. You can see it says allow or deny here. I can't click on my main computer. I have to go to this computer over here. You see the mouse moving up and click allow. Now that they've allowed me control, I can actually take over their computer and click start. You'll see if I'm clicking, I'm on my main computer. You see the mouse goes over here, but then it comes back and it's on the main computer controlling their computer. And I can start up 
whatever I need to start up or run whatever I need to run. When you're done, you can click stop control and then go ahead and click leave. And that will take you out of the session. You'll see on both sides, it says screen sharing has ended. There is an option to reconnect and it will prompt the other person to allow you to connect as well. All right, and you'll see what's nice about reconnecting is it doesn't require you to say allow again, it just kind of reconnects. So I can go ahead and request control. And if I click allow, it'll give me control again. All right, as you can see, like it really like the reconnect didn't work, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay because if you ever do need to reconnect, you can just go ahead and close out. And what you do is you just start a new session. So both of you open up quick assist again, and you'll be able to reconnect. Now, I hope you guys can use this to help somebody out if they ever need help with their computers. I do appreciate you sticking around. And since you're still here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You've obviously liked the video. It might even help you out in the future. Um, so I really do appreciate it as it does help me create more content like this to support your business and to help you guys out. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for sticking around.